What's up, fellas and lady fellas? This is Deluxe Drew here on the Dreamcraft server, and today we've got a bunch of stuff to do and a bunch of stuff to talk about. So I started recently using this 3D texture pack, which looks really awesome because I didn't like the way the 2D doors looked, but now the doors look awesome. And uh, a little bonus, uh, I don't really like the cobblestone, so I could change that, but I'm starting to get used to it. Uh... The door, the iron door looks good when you even when you open it. Uh, the furnace looks awesome, and when you cook something in the furnace, it looks even cooler. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab a stack of iron ore here and toss her in the furnace, and then click this button: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And it, like, it gets all red inside of there and stuff. I think that's awesome. But uh, the reason I have so much iron is I went on a caving adventure and I got loaded on materials. Like, look at all this stuff in here. Got 20 gold, some lapis, a ton of redstone, a ton of coal, and seven, count them, seven diamonds. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to save two for an enchantment table, two for a sword, and three for a pick. And oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys about this little kitchen area here. This is an infinite water source, but if you look down there really closely, there's crafting benches too, which makes it like the ultimate like uh, crafting area right here. It's got everything you need. And I'm not sure what the problem is with this. I might have talked about this in a video, but this right here, I think it makes it so when you push this button, this doesn't shoot out any food or anything. I know there's no food in there right now, but I think it makes it so that it doesn't because it's like a butt. It's on a butt switch. So I think that's actually kind of cool. It's like a double double use there, which is pretty sweet. I just, I love the way the furnace looks. I'm going to keep this 3D texture pack. Uh, I might edit things out of it, like the cobblestone. Also, the tools like break down when you use them a lot, which I don't really like. Uh, so I hope that the creator, which is uh, no too good, I hope he updates that in the future. The beds are all 3D. But anyway, enough talking about the... Uh, the texture pack you you'll get to see every all the features of it uh we're gonna go ahead and take this 12 blue wool that i so conveniently have and finish off the carpet in our bedroom here which looks really really good and this is the closet i'm not sure if i showed you guys that or not uh we need to figure out a storage system today uh so we can get these chests out of here uh, but for now we're gonna go ahead run over to our crafting station and we're gonna build us a nice little tv so we're going to need three, count them, three iron blocks. And then we're going to make another anvil. That anvil is going to go right there. And then we're going to go ahead. And there's a TV. And now we're going to try to get some picture on this TV. Oh, it sounds for the paintings now. I don't think this is going to work. This is going to take forever. I don't think there's any three wide paintings. I honestly don't think there are any three white paintings. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll put it. We'll find a way. We'll find a a painting to put on here or something. Uh, but there's a really big importance to this wool that I have right here, and that is to build a shield, which I do not remember how to craft. So this is gonna be fun. Let's see if I can do it without uh, memory. I think it's like this, and then like this, and then like that. Or something. Fuck. Okay. Uh. Oh. No! Okay. This is fine. This is okay. A little bit of flaw in the counter there. But that's okay. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna Google the recipe. And I'll be right back. So they updated the shield recipe apparently. You don't even need wool for the shields anymore. Which is actually really good. They make shields like way more viable. For uh. PvP. Uh. Let's see how this bad boy looks on us. Oh yeah, nice plain shield. Uh, next thing we gotta do is go ahead and make a banner for ourselves. And that'll be really good. So we can add the banner to our shield here. But for now, we'll just leave it. Uh, maybe if we uh, end up uh, running into some stuff to do at the end of the episode, uh, like running out of things to do, We'll go ahead and screw around with that. 
But now I am going to go ahead over here and make myself a set of iron armor again since uh, all of my iron armor got broken during that little caving episode thingy. Throw it all. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, it only does it when you right click it, apparently. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, now we're all geared up, ready to go. We are going to run over to Dungeon Keeper's place and do two level 30 enchants on each of these, which would be awesome. So I'm going to grab three lapis for each, run over to Dungeon Keeper's, and I will see you guys when we get there. All right, it should also be mentioned that... Uh, before I head over to Dungeon Keeper's place, it should be not mentioned that uh, he messaged me on Curse and said that there were some things that he changed over here. So as soon as I turn around, we might see some new things here. So let's go ahead and... Whoa! It looks so different over here now. Looks like he's been really, really busy. Uh, so we got stone brick. Uh, looks like we got some farms here, which is pretty cool. Some extra space. These look really awesome. Got a nice little sheep there, some cows here, this, I think this is strip mine, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna run over, oh, he did a lot of mining right here, this looks way different. Ooh, this iron here. Nah, you can keep your iron. I love the 3D ores in this texture pack. Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our little enchantarune here. Okay, so, we'll do the sword because it has looting too, and I really want looting too, uh, looting, so... That would be good. If it's just looting too, I'm going to be pissed. Bane of Arthropods 4. Ah, it's even worse. That's okay, though. I mean, it's better than our iron sword. Okay, let's see what we got here. Efficiency 4, that's fine. Let's just take it. There, that's perfect. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. So, okay, we, uh, we got a looting too, which is pretty good. I don't know why I'm zigzagging the stairs, the ladders like this. We got looting too, which is pretty good. I like the looting too. Uh... That's really good. So, oh shit, I keep thinking those are pressure plates. I like the looting too. We can get a lot more done. So that's really good. Uh, he had, yeah, doors. I'm gonna take this door. So I want it for my closet. So uh, I don't know where any dark oak wood is. So I'm taking it. All right, we're back. Got the TV looking all nice right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw in this Dizor. Oh, we should get rid of that. Throw in that dough. Uh, I like the carpet in here. It looks really cool. We'll sh we should find a place to store some stuff. Uh, we'll put like a chest in the closet here. Uh, we also gotta line the bottom of the closet with some of this diorite. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. We are big money ballers, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll replace this back here with regular stone. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Prepared. Oh, fuck. Prepared uh, YouTuber is prepared. All right, guys. So I thought we might as well do a little bit of work on the farm here. And since I want to do... Uh, I want to put the sheep somewhere. I'm not sure where, though. So we might put them over here just because we already have a grass block here that can it can grow onto. I think that would be good. Right there, I think, is where we're going to put these sheep. So I'm going to go ahead and dig this out here and throw down some dirt. All right, so I got the uh, the dirt all down here. And there's little pebbles and stuff on the ground in this extra pack. looks really cool. But uh, grass started to spread and stuff. Uh, I might actually re replace this with dirt. Perhaps just to make it look a little bit cooler over here because I don't like how it like it's like dirt 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 and then stone It's like too sudden and then it goes back to dirt. So I might do a little bit of remodeling over here uh, As you can see this isn't dug out yet. Uh, gotta finish doing that But this is a nice little start for all the sheep I gotta figure out what kind of fences we're gonna do here next so we could do the cobble fences Which that would be okay, but I think I kind of want to go with a wooden fence theme so, we'll have to go ahead and see what kind of wood I've got laying around. Because I'm pretty sure I only have, like, spruce wood and acacia wood. And acacia would look good because it's nice and light. So, we might actually try that. And I've got 25 of it here. 
Uh, another thing we might want to do this episode is start a little bit of a tree farming area, which would be pretty good. So, uh, I'll make a couple fences here and see how it, uh, looks. Uh, I don't know where exactly we're gonna enter this place from, but I do know how I want to enter it. So we're gonna go like that, and place a cobble wall wherever we want to enter, and then we can squeeze right through it. Which is really cool, because the, the, uh, the sheep won't be able to squeeze through, which is really good. So all we, all we gotta do is get a piece of wheat... Come on, where are you, Wheat? Oh, I took you over to the house, didn't I? Damn it. Alright, let's go, you little fucks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. This way. This way. Come on, follow me, you little fuck. All the other ones are following me. I'll just kill the other ones. Fuck it. Get in here. Awesome. Okay, you guys just go ahead, you fuck. And then... Go ahead, we'll place our cobble wall, and boom! Sheep farm accomplished, would you look at that? It's a nice little corner for them, too. I think it's, I think that's a really nice addition. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the looting on this motherfucker. Dink. Awesome. Alright, so now we can start eating meat instead of, uh... I hope this grass spreads fast enough. <laughs> I actually might want to dig out this here and let the dirt come in a little bit. Just so, because, it, like, this area right here, they won't be able to eat the grass. So, just, like, just in case, it's like a fail-safe grass protector. And I want all the inside in here to be grass anyway, so... Uh, that would be good. Uh, right over here, we want to put some taters and carrots and wheat. Uh, we don't have any uh, carrots, though, so we'll just put wheat and stuff over here in this little quarter, I guess. Uh, we might actually even uh, cut this diagonally here. But I don't want to keep it all like linear, you know? So, like, we might come across this way just to open up this little middle area. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I really love this, uh, this sheep farm, though. It's good. I like it. Uh, what else did we have planned? So, we could go ahead and knock the sheep farm off of here and take a look at our little board. So, that has been accomplished. Go ahead and toss her in the chest. Oh, not you. You. What else we got? Cow farm. Uh, mushroom farm. Melon and pumpkin farm. We don't have melons or pumpkins yet. Potato, carrot, wheat farm. Vine farm? Question mark. Huh. Okay. Uh, what we could do is right here I know I want to put melons and pumpkins. But uh, I also want to do that mushroom farm. So I might make that automatic mushroom farm like it, right here in the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and look up, uh, or like try to remember how to build it or whatever. So uh, I'll cut back to you guys when I'm ready. Alright guys, so we should uh, have everything we need to build this. Uh, besides like, you know, good looking blocks to build it out of. Uh, so speaking of that, we'll just grab some of these and we'll toss in a stack of this. And we will burn it with some of this. But anyway, I know how to build it. I'm not sure exactly where I want to build it, though, because this is, yeah, an even number. Um, <laughs> right here at the end, maybe, uh, but it's an even number again. Uh, Alright, we're going to go ahead and build a modified design. We're going to, you're going to see some classic redstoning by the time this is over. Okay, so get this go go ahead and get this started. We want the mushrooms to come right here. We'll build this out of cobblestone, maybe replace it later. Uh we want it to come right here. But oh fuck, I need the mushrooms. I'm an idiot. Let's build a mushroom farm with no mushrooms. Alright, I'm back. Anyway, this mushroom farm is gonna be in no way efficient. 
uh, but it will be pretty good. So what we need to do is figure out what we want here. So we can go ahead and get our little seedling spots, which are going to be here and here. And then we want this to come around like a so. And we want this to come around there like a so. So the one thing I'm worried about is the water not being able to reach. So we're going to want to put... Uh, we're going to go ahead and tear all this out right here so I can actually s think. So right here and right here are where we're going to put these uh, mushrooms, which are going to be called the seed mushrooms. Uh, and this is going to be in no way organized at all. But, so we should be able to cover them up. And then, uh, also, we're going to want to put pistons down right here. And right there. And that, uh, we'll put the water back there, right? So, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and throw in the red stone is going to come underneath to either uh, some pressure plates we can stand on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw down these pressure plates here. That's just going to that's just there to stop the water from uh, doing things that we don't want, like pouring out basically out into our farm there. So we're going to take this redstone and we're going to bring it underneath like this, and then up to there and to here. But uh, we might want to invert it. Uh, if we're going to make it run on a uh, pressure plate type design, which is what I want to do. So we'll go ahead and we'll make two more pressure plates. Uh, we're going to get out of here. What, how I want the farm to work is... Oh, where those torches go? I need those. I need the light. Okay, how I want it to work is every once in a while we can run up here oh we can even put signs here which i, I might actually do that instead of these uh ugly looking pressure plates but you run up here you have on the pressure plates it'll release the water so that means we're gonna have to invert this which means we are going to need to grab a redstone torch there and put it right here which will activate both pistons oh i, I like the way the redstone looks underneath the uh cobble there so, uh, okay, that works. So when, so when we stand on these, it'll turn the, uh, things off, and then, um, wow, words are really hard. It'll turn, uh, the, the pistons off, which will then, uh, release the water. Ooh, is this gonna... This isn't going to short out anything, is it? I'm going to go ahead and replace all the co or all the stone in here with cobble. Uh, just because I want to. I'm OCD like that. Okay, it's not OCD, but you get my point. It'll look better if I replace it all with cobble. Go ahead and replace this wall. So basically, I'm going to explain how this works. The seed mushrooms... Uh, are able to spawn mushrooms on these outside nine blocks here. And uh, they will spawn out on here. And then every once in a while we can get on here and it'll release the water and make everything come to us uh, via the water. So the water will help us. Um, I don't know if that's going to be too much light. The water will push it over to us, basically, is what I'm trying to say. See, I really don't want these pressure plates activating. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. Answer curse, feller. Oh, okay. Uh, one sec. Okay. It's kind of laggy when I do that. I think it's this texture pack. It's the 3D cobble. That's what it is. It has to be the 3D cobble. All right, uh, the last thing we got to do here is toss in the water, which I already have. Would you look at prepared feller? Oh, we should be extremely careful. Uh, oh, we can't get out of here. Okay, now we can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some sides instead of having the... Uh, 
Nah, we'll have the pressure plates. Fuck it. Uh, we're gonna put glass in here too, just so we can look in on uh, our little farm. All right, now when we push this button, the water leads everything to us. Awesome. There we go. Oh, it's a little laggy with the texture pack, though. I don't know. Dang. I think it's all the cobblestone being rendered right here. Uh, these torches need to go, though. They need to be, like, a, up here in the corners or something, because it has to be dark in there in order for this to work. So I think that should be okay. Oh, not there. Symmetri symmetry. Symmetry. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to edit this texture pack and make it so the cobble isn't 3D anymore, because that's always bothered me. But this is done, man. This is this is pretty sweet. We'll go ahead and throw up some chests. And we got ourselves a redstone mushroom farm. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so that there. Yeah, that looks alright. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, cobble texture out of the texture pack, though. Alright, guys, we're back. And I figured we should make a banner for our shield here. And uh, to do that... Uh, you have to make a sign out of wool, so we got a black banner. And I'm pretty sure we can just apply this to our shield now. And we could, so it makes a black shield. But that's too plain. We want to go ahead and customize this banner a little bit. So I've got a ton of lapis lazuli here. And we're going to play around with this. So I know if you do three on the bottom, it makes like a little bottom thing. If you do the corners... Or if you do this, it makes a stripe across that way, or it makes a stripe across that way. Uh, I want to figure out how to do the gradient, though, which I do not remember how to do. I think it's, uh, it's like that. That's the top half. There's that. How do I do a gradient? Do I have to, like, fill in the whole thing? No? Uh-oh, I don't remember. No. No. Oh, this is so bad. I'm failing so hard. Oh, fuck. No. My whole life has led up to this moment, and I'm a failure. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, make a Y. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Okay, make a Y. No, it didn't work. It didn't work. Uh-oh. Okay, I made like a V, a Y, and... Do I make a Y and put it underneath it or something? Hang on. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Do I have any bones? I do. I can make this light blue as well if I wanted to. Get some light blue dye. Do I have an oxide daisy though? That's the question that the that everyone should be asking me right now. I don't. Why with the banner in the crook of it? That's what I did though. It's not working. Do I have to make like an upside down Y? Hold up. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not working. At all. Huh. Technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Let's do this. Have you dropped anything? Uh, oh, yes, a comparator. This is going to help for something that I haven't said in the video yet, but uh, thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to go black banner with the Y. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, there's there's a gradient. Okay, so we'll add in the oxide daisy. That's a, Yeah, it's underneath, dude. Uh do we want to go with a light blue flower and then a gradient over top? Or do we want to go with a dark blue flower with a, a light gradient over top? You know what? YOLO. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. Uh, I got here. And there and here. That looks kind of good. 
It's really simple. I like it, though. Uh, maybe we could add something else to it. Let's see how it looks. That looks alright. That's not terrible. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, let me get this back. Maybe we'll add another gradient. We'll add a reverse gradient to it. So we'll put it, like, down here. That looks kind of cool. Except it's, like, now it's just, like, blue. Maybe we'll add a black gradient to it. Or a gray gradient or something. I think I did too much to this now. <laughs> I think I goofed, like, heavily. Uh, let's want to do this on the bottom. Ooh, that looks scary. Yeah, I like that. It's like faded out a little bit. Yeah, I want to stick with that. I wish there was more detail I could add to it. I didn't think it also looked dumb, though. Alright, we're going to go ahead and plaster that onto our banner. Or our shield. And then boom, got ourselves a shield. How's it look? It's really scaled down, so I guess it's good to go with a simple design for a shield, since the resolution is scaled down. That looks really good. I got this enchanted diamond sword with looting 2 and Bane of Arthropods 4. My shield looks awesome now. Alright, uh, uh, so one last little talk uh, before I go ahead and end off this episode. Uh, I want to do, like, a secret storage compartment, like, in the closet, where we have to, like, turn this item frame, and, uh, it'll activate, like, a, a hidden trapdoor underneath here or something, which I think would be cool. Or, like, maybe it pops a block up here and opens a secret staircase up there, and you, like, go up into the mountain or something. I think that could be cool as well. But we'll we'll play around with it in the next episode. Wow, wrecked. <laughs> uh, so we'll play around with that in the next episode. Uh, I hope there is enough uh, done here. We didn't get a lot of progress done. We got the mushroom farm. We got the carpet finish in the bedroom. Got the TV in here. Uh, got the shield, the really awesome shield. So uh, I have a little clip of me going on a tour at him Should's place. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that little clip. Uh, and then that'll be the end of the episode. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, oh, a question. A question. I forgot a question. Uh, how about you link me your favorite looking banners in the uh, in the comments for this episode? All right. See you fellers and lady fellers later. Uh, and peace.